have an entire series of webinars on this. So today we're just going to focus on what's new and we're going to focus on how the actual handbook is um, organized. These are the chapters in the handbook and uh, we have the introduction which I'm kind of going over right now. Uh, chapter 2 is the largest, it's the transportation impact process. Uh, we had a question earlier about what was an LGCP and that is a local government comprehensive plan and that's a, a Florida term that uh, is passed around a lot, the same as DRI or developments of regional impact. And chapter 5 is about mitigation. It's what do we do when we find out what impacts we expect. There are resource guides throughout this handbook and they've been one of the most popular features. By using internet links you will be able to find the most up-to-date information even if the printed version of this handbook uh, becomes out of date. Uh, the other feature which is really popular in the last one was uh, checklists that really help in the review and making sure whether if you're doing the actual analysis whether you have uh, caught everything that's applicable to the study that you're doing. Over the years we've created examples and collected samples of work done for traffic impact analysis and we put a number of these in the appendices of the handbook. Again you'll see a generous use of hyperlinks uh, to make your job easier.